he one day uh, my acting to be very contained, uh, very cold, to create a character almost without limits, no parameters. So he's unreadable. You cannot really expect what is going to be the next step that's going to take. Uh, revealing very little and definitely not making a wink of an eye to the audience or just commenting something that actually go was going to be in the architecture of the movie, the narrative process. So once I assumed that and we started working that way, for me it was almost like providing him with little pieces of a puzzle that he was going to put together. And in order to do so, I never established a kind of uh, morality uh, judgment over the character. It was just too much of a backpack to carry, uh, too much of a burden to carry over my shoulders during the whole entire time. Soy tuya. Estoy hecha a tu medida. Y acabas de decirme que te gusto. He dicho eso. Sé que me miras. Desde que me trajiste aquí prácticamente vivimos en la misma habitación. And Pedro directed me in a very specific way too because he is very clear in his directions. In things that probably no other director in the world that I have worked with would put attention. Unbelievable little details. It's almost like the quantum physics of acting. Very, very, very specific things. Um, so I just tried to provide him with that. Uh, I was playing the character almost in their specific compartments that I established, like uh, I didn't know the whole entire story. I tried to portray the character almost like a family doctor. I remember one scene that actually can make actually a connection with what that lady said before about the humor in the movie, which obviously is not. I read it, produced laughter on me when I read the script for the first time, which is the only time that I have been a spectator of my own movie, um, which is the scene with the dildos. <laughs> I couldn't play that as it was. What I played in my mind is that I was prescribing pills to somebody. You know, you take two in the morning, two in the afternoon, three in the night, glass of milk, in three months you're going to be perfect. I couldn't play that as it was written. But then, obviously, all that material was going to be taken by him and put it in the narrative process. And that is the way that I actually approach the character. Because Pedro didn't want to have, not even that kind of thing that, for example, characters played by wonderful actors like Tony Hopkins in Silent of the Lambs, they always have that kind of wink of an audience. I remember, you all remember probably that kind of mannerism that the character has, this thing that he used to do to the girls. And Pedro didn't want any of those monstrous things. He wanted me to be absolutely natural at any moment, because in the mind of this psychopath, actually, what he's performing is not punishable at all. I think, actually, she, at some point of the movie, she should be thankful that I made her better than she was. And probably science <laughs> and the world should be thankful to me because I advanced science and I took them to a new step that they didn't dare to take. So in his mind, he plays like that. He totally has a disaffection for anybody's pain. He's a megalomaniac, basically. 